big regular campaigner in the Otago Rally, but you got a new car this year. I have indeed, Mark. I've uh, gone back to my roots and bought a rear drive car after 11 years and a front wheel drive car. You've previously been seated number one in the Otago Rally many years ago. What year was that? Yeah, I think that was 1976, which um, says a lot, really. I shouldn't be here. Oh, you should, and we love having you as part of the rally. Um, so back in those days, you were a regular campaigner in the national championship. What sort of car? Um, RX3s. Um, I had um, I competed in the um, 76 International in RX3, and uh, we were fortunate enough to get eighth overall. So I was pretty happy with that. This is your first rally in the Ford Escort. You've purchased it from Andy. Um, it's previously got third in this event. There's many of them in the field. There's obviously a reason why everybody chooses them. Yeah, um, I'm finding it a challenge, actually. I'm, I'm noticing it's so much heavier and it doesn't react as quickly as corners. I mean, it's a tech, it's sort of a technical thing. And it's also my, my ability to adapt to it. And I'm actually not not as happy with it as I'd hoped I would, but um, it's not the car's fault. This car's got third in this event, and um, so I'll blame me at this stage. <laughs> we'll watch with interest today. Enjoy day two of the Otago Rally. Okay, thanks, guys.